I'm not going to dwell on the king. It's just as well he's got a divine right to be king because nobody would ever have picked him, <laughs> least of all his own family. On this day in 1649, on this day, the rump parliament, a better parliament than we have today, passed the following motion. The office of a king in this land is unnecessary, burdensome, and dangerous to the life and liberty and public interest of the people of this nation. I wish the parliament would pass that motion today. I'm not going to dwell on the king, for it would be an absurdity, as has been acknowledged here, that because King Charles tells you you've got to go and fight and die in a war, you're going to do it. Utterly absurd. So let's turn to country. Who is the country? What is the country? Who are you going to fight for? Rishi Sunak? <laughs> you, you upbraided the lack of height of my colleague. Have you seen Rishi Sunak? In fact, if you, if you put Zelensky on Sunak's shoulders, you still wouldn't even get a Napoleon. These are small men. Are you really going to follow? Give them a blank check. Yes, I'll fight for you, Rishi Sunak. You only have to roll the name or his predecessor. What was our name? <laughs> Liz Truss. Are you telling me that if Liz Truss said you had to go to war and die, you'd do it because she was the Prime Minister? Tony Blair. Tony Blair, yes. I knew you were an, I knew you were an idiot from the sunglasses that you are. Tony Blair, anyone? Tony Blair, anyone who caused the death of a million people and counting who cascaded fanatic Islamist extremism around the world? You called them spores, the murder cult of ISIS, Al Qaeda, the head chopping throat cutters, the million dead Iraqis, and you want to do it all again by signing a blank check to Tobias Elwood? He told you, did you notice the word that he, the caveat that he slipped in for you? There's no conscription yet, he said. Did you notice it? He was on television less than two weeks ago, calling for martial law to be introduced in this country. In which case, I saw your lips move on Sky News. I saw your lips move on Sky News. And if we had martial law, we wouldn't be having this debate. And it might not be long before you can take off your fur hat and put on a tin one and go off to fight and die on the question of whether Kupiansk is on one side of a line when it's been in four different countries in the last hundred years. You're ready to die for that? Because I'm not. And I'm not ready for sure to give a blank check to politicians to command my loyalty. My loyalty is to God, to my religion. I believe in St. Thomas Aquinas' concept of the just war. I'll fight in a just war. If somebody attacks us, I'll fight them. Getting on in years as I am. I'll tell my son to go and fight them. All of my sons, all of my daughters, for a just cause. But you're not fighting for a just cause if you sign up to the concept that you will fight for king and country because that's an unqualified commitment that you are making. 
My colleague was mocked for pointing out that there are circumstances in which, what does that bell mean by the way? Some people have spoken for 20 minutes. <laughs> the, she pointed out there are circumstances in which we would fight. Now I, I saved this last bit for little Ben Wallace who I was told was coming here tonight. And frankly, he's the only reason I'm here and he didn't show up. You're going to fight with what? With what? You said I'd attack Tommy Atkins. I never have. I attack the donkeys that exploit the lives and limbs of the lions that they send into these wars. You will never hear me attack an individual British soldier. Far from it. I'm one of the volunteers of Jim Davidson's care after combat, looking after people that have been abandoned by the politicians that gaily sent them into war. Where is Tommy Atkins? He's on the streets with the homeless people. Where is Tommy Atkins? He's in the mental health hospital, damaged and abandoned by those that sent him into war. Where is Tommy Atkins? He's disproportionately in the prison system and not as a warder. Where is Tommy Atkins? He's disproportionately hooked on drugs. He's in Piccadilly Gardens in Manchester. I've picked him up myself, hooked on fentanyl and all these new opioids. That's what Tommy Atkins ends up doing in Tory Britain. They send these men off to war filled with their fake patriotism, king and country, straw hats and trumpets. And when they come back, they have no use for them. They leave them to rot on the streets without houses, jobs, futures, hope. So don't come here and wave your flags at me. Don't come here and sound the tinny brass trumpet of your patriotism. Yes, we will fight for the working people of this country. Yes, we will fight for the good things about our way of life. By the way, when did you fall out of love with using armed force to take territory? We, we control 25% of the entire world's surface and ruled one third of the people of the world under our flag. All of it taken by armed conquest. All of those people held in subjugation by the British Empire and now they want to parade as if they were Boy Scouts that oppose the acquisition of other people's territory by force. These hypocrites, Robert Burns, my national poet, put it this way in an ode on the occasion of a national thanksgiving. Ye hypocrites, are these your pranks to murder men and gee God thanks? Halt, desist, go no further. God will no accept your thanks for murder. I move.